Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. Today we're going to be talking about who or what is coming towards you and what do you need to know about this person, this situation that you might not know about. So let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit Angels guys, messages please for Aries. What does Aries need to know about who or what is coming towards them? Ah in love who or what is coming towards aries who or what is coming towards aries eight of cups the magician and the knight of cups um, well, right away, I think that you've manifested someone coming back in here with an offer of some sort, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe somebody that walked away in the past. I feel like you're manifesting this Knight of Cups. I don't know what this Eight of Cups represents just yet, but I think you've definitely manifested this or are waiting for it, or expecting it, something like that. Tell me about the overall energy for Aries in love. Unexpected event. Unexpected or shocking events have shaken things up. Okay, what else? What else for Aries? Moving forward, movement, endings, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Okay, so this could be you also walking away from something or someone walking away from something in order to move forward with you. Secret admirer, you've caught someone's eye, okay? So let's clarify some of these so we can get a little bit more insight here. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Cups for Aries. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Sun, okay. Someone's walking away, I feel, for happiness or due to getting some sort of clarity. The Hierophant. Taurus Energy. So I'm focusing on the stairs here um, in this particular deck. There are stairs behind this man. The Hierophant is all about doing things in a traditional sense, in a conservative sense. Contracts, marriage, traditional values. And, you know, I feel like someone is, has walked away from something. This could be you, Aries, or your person, like I said. Because there's something on the other side that's better. The High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck, so maybe someone's intuition is guiding them here. Let me get one more. Why is the Eight of Cups here? There's a sun at the dis in the distance here of the Eight of Cups. The sun is here, and there's a light here as well. So I feel like this is all kind of related. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Well, the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant together, I instantly think of marriage commitments, family, um, provider, because the King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, tends to be already kind of a provider for a family or um, is committed to someone. Someone could have left a commitment. Or if it's not leaving a commitment, wherever someone's headed, now that they've left a situation, they're being a lot more thoughtful about it because the King of Pentacles and the Higher Font are very careful energies. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? 
Why is the magician here for Aries? The Ace of Cups. Oh, yes. I feel like this is all related here. You've manifested this coming into your life, Aries. Judgment is here. Maybe you've been wanting um, to revive something. Maybe you've been wanting to... Maybe you've learned from the past and you just want something that's better for you now in the future. A better love. Tell me more about the magician. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. Wow, complete new beginning. You want something new. A lot of passion, a lot of um, energy I'm getting from these two cards and the magician. Whatever this is, Aries, I'm just going to grab a random card. Oh, the Emperor. There you are, Aries. You're the one I feel that's manifesting this. You could be manifesting someone specific to walk into your life. Or you specifically want to begin something new in love. Something that's very passionate. Something that's very abundant, fulfilling, emotionally, new love. But I feel like this has to do with the past somehow. Like judgment is all about looking back at the past and learning from the past. You have realizations over the past, understandings, you learn lessons. Um, but it's also about revival, resurrection, second chances. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here, please, sir? Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Three of Pentacles. Hmm, we have a Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Chariot. Cancer energy. There's a Ten of Swords. Again, this energy of an ending and the movement. What's behind this? King of Swords. Let's talk about it. Seven of Cups is options, choices. And then the Two of Cups. The chariot. Let me find out more about this chariot. Three of Pentacles is about working together. So when I see the Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords, I think of someone being like, let's work things out. Let's work this out. Let's, you know, put in time and energy and address whatever issue we have. But let me find out more. Tell me about the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot? The knight of swords. So this is communication about the move. Yeah, six of swords. Someone's going to contact you about a, a specific move they're making. They're leaving something behind. They realize something with the hangman here. Whoever this is, I feel they have something to like get off their chest. And I feel you've manifested this. Like you've you've had um you really desire this, Aries. Let me get some more insight here. For Aries, please. What do we need to know, Spirit? All the energy surrounding Aries at this time. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Aries? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone expressing their feelings here, communicating here. Communication is big in this reading. I feel like Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords is someone like revealing something to you. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor. 
in your love life right now. Maybe this move costs money. Maybe there's something here with financial difficulties or job difficulties. Maybe someone's leaving a job. Let's see what else we can get here. Let's ask Spirit, what do you need to know about this individual or the situation coming towards you? There's something unexpected about this. So it's interesting because I feel like you're manifesting something, but at the same time, there's some sort of ending that's relevant here or some sort of revelation or upheaval because the tower is about reveals. It's about shocking situations. The tower comes down, right? And it's very um, disruptive. Can I get some insight, please, for Aries? What do they need to know? about this person, this situation coming towards them, Spirit. What does Aries need to know about this person or this situation? What does Aries need to know? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's feelings here. Um, the Queen of Cups, they're very compassionate, kind, there's a star, Aquarius energy. The Queen of Cups is compassionate, kind, loving, patient, forgiving. Um, I feel like there's a lot of feelings here um, in terms of like this person that you're dealing with. They might have a lot of feelings for you. They might view you as a Queen of Cups as well. Someone with um, a very kind heart, someone that is very loving towards them. I'm getting that, um, hmm, I don't think that obviously is going to be, okay, so this is not, this isn't going to be for everyone, but I think that one of you is like a parent, because there's like a very parental energy I'm picking up here, like a comforting energy here with this Queen of Cups. Oh wow, the Two of Cups. So the Star, Aquarius energy, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So what you need to know is that there is definitely a soulmate connection here between you and this person. There is a strong bond here. The star is all about hope, faith, renewal. I'm thinking about the magician here. There could be healing that needs to happen. There might be a situation where hope or faith is needed. There's a lot of uh, feelings here. The fool at the bottom of the deck. Risks, leaps of faith, new beginnings, new starts, and the five of wands after that. So I feel like maybe there's a little history here of conflict with the five of wands or drama or just not seeing eye to eye 100% of the time. So let's get some clarity here. Get some clarity for Aries, please. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a water sign as well. Why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit? The King of Cups. Yeah, definitely a pair. You see eye to eye. You fit each other very well. Lots of love. Lots of like patience, understanding. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Overthinking, fear, stuck energy. So I feel like someone's emotions might be making things um, harder. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's difficulty here. The Nine of Wands is about going through difficulty feeling a bit guarded, defensive, having a little bit of trust issues, because you've been hurt. The, the Nine of Wands is someone that's been through a lot, but hasn't completely given up. Can I get one more for the Queen of Cups, please? So I feel like even though someone might have feelings, I think that there's fear, there's guarded energy here. The world, yes. Okay, so 
this desire of like a new cycle, a new beginning, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups from, you know, the previous spread, I feel like this is someone that's a bit hesitant about, I don't know, it's, it's almost like they need to get clarity perhaps, the Page of Swords is here, talk about things more, get information. The Page of Swords is very curious, they're like the researcher, they um, observe, they're very, um, talkative and they care about the truth and the facts they're not the best communicators but they're very truthful i feel like someone wants to talk about talk through i should say their fears before they start something new because there's definitely fear here due to some difficulty tell me about the star what do we need to know about the star Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands could also be communication coming in. Tell me about the star. Communication or action. Queen of Swords. Oh, I feel this is communication. And then the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like somebody wants to, you know, this can only be healed, renewed with communication. I feel like the past needs to be discussed. Six of Cups is here. Ace of Wands after that. Someone desperately wants this. There's there's a soulmate energy here or some sort of like special connection that's tied to the past. Could be a past life connection or someone that you specifically know of from the past. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Then I want to clarify the Eight of Wands a little bit with the Queen of Swords. Oops. Page of Wands. Okay, hold on. Okay, tell me more about the Two of Cups. I didn't see the tower come out at all, so maybe this tower moment already happened. Or is happening to the person that's leaving a situation. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. So yeah, I feel like there is an offer coming in from someone. They just need to like talk things out. Yeah, the Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands. Where to go from here? It's not enough to like reunite. There's a lot of work that needs to be put in. Or someone needs reassurance here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands. Interesting. Four of Wands is about stability, harmony, the rite of passage, the next step. Celebrations, marriage, it could also be. So I feel like... I feel like someone would only be willing to put in time and effort into this if they knew there was a future. Because the Eight of Pentacles is here. And then after that, the Nine of Cups. So it's almost like, if I put in the work, will I have satisfaction in the end? Will it be worth it? Because if not, I'm not going to bother or I'm not really willing to risk not having satisfaction if it's going to require all this work, right? You have so many aces that have shown up. So there's like this energy of a new start, a new offer, a new opportunity based on truth and communication. We have the Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. The Page of Swords showed up as well. Knight of Swords, I believe, was in the previous spread. So it's almost like someone wants to know where do we go from here? And depending on that answer is like whether they're going to be in or not. <laughs> this could be you Aries asking that question or the person that you're dealing with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope that it resonated for you. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot on the channel. And um, hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.